all right welcome to this channel in today's video i'm talking about shell permission the linux operating system is multi-user meaning that more than one user can be operating the system at the same time file permission controls the ability of user to read change navigate and execute the contents of the file if the computer is attached to a network or the internet remote users can log in via the secure shell and operate the computer in fact remote users can execute graphical application and have the output displayed on a remote computer so all this is telling us that from a remote shell you can be granted permission to control the ability and um, to control the ability of of the user to read change navigate and execute the content of the file so this per this permission is what we are talking about the shell permission we will be performing one task and the task is named my name is betty and um, it says we should create a script that switches the current user to the user betty so there's a particular user at the moment we should switch the user to betty so that we are giving it means that we are giving you and betty the permission to assess um whatever we need to assess so we are creating a script that switches the current user to the user betty um you can assume that the user betty will exist when you run this your script um this should be pushed to your github repository name software i think devops the directory is 00 i think shell and the task should, and the file name is task underscore zero so creating a script that switches the current user to the user betty um if you don't know how to create a script you can check my previous video on shell basics where i explained what it means and how to create a shell script and so the next thing i need to do now is to fire up my web terminal in my web terminal, I clone my repository, and um, all I need to do is just to copy this clone link I have on my notepad. I come back here and I insert that. All right, so it clones it successfully. Once I list the content, I will find um, software DevOps there properly cloned, and so I can change my directory into this directory software DevOps okay i prefer to clear the screen so that i can now space to type more things so now in software devops i check the content i have this um this directory 00 i think shell i created this directory in my previous video shell basics so you can check that um, video to see how to create this directory of course it's not difficult just mkdir for make directory and you put the name of the directory all right so i would like to navigate into this directory as well so I change my directory. Why am I doing that? The question says the directory for this task should be in 00 hyphen shell and um, should be in this repository. What is the name of the file? Task underscore zero. And then um, I'll be using MVI to create this task. And in there, I'll write my script. Remember, my script is my role is to create a script that switches the user, the current user to the user, Betty. So now inside. Um, this directory I use vi vi text editor so I use vi and name of my my um, my um, my file is task underscore zero okay I have another I have I before now I have a file named task underscore zero so I'll change this to task I think zero to avoid um, any form of conflict so i'll change it to task i think zero so it could be whatever task depending on the task you are doing the task it could be whatever name depending on the file you are told to use in your task and so once i press enter it opens the the editor and now i'm to do the question create a script that switches the current user to the user betty what is the command that does that i go to this table which i have created and you can see the the, the, the this command is used to is to make a script that switches the current user to the um user betty so all i need to do is to um put in these two lines of course this is the shebang you can check my previous video to understand this 
that su is the command su space betty makes betty the user it, it makes um, it switches the current user to betty and so i go back to my web terminal here i put in this i press i to get into my insert mode you can see i'm ready in my insert mode so i can insert the text i put this um and this then slash bin slash bash you can check my previous video to understand this and then what is that the, the command that is just su um betty so you can see su betty is the command so what i have here is exactly what i have here and from this the command here is exactly what i have done and so um if you press enter this betty is going to um this um, vi editor works in such a way that this third line or this space is taken as a line even if you don't have anything there provided it's not having this symbol it tells you that there's something there so to if um, to, um, to prevent that you make sure you don't press enter you remain on these two lines so that you have just two lines of um, code or should i say command and next is to just press escape to get into command mode yes yeah, so the command i send is column wq column wq is to exit and save or save and exit and now i'm back to my web terminal so you can check the contents and you can see i have my task i think zero created now um after creating this file task i think zero i can check the content of task um task i think zero and i get what i had inserted in it in my text editor now to execute this script to make this script executable or to execute the script there's this command chmod chmod u plus x and i put the name of the file that's task i think zero so you must put this to execute this task and um, this sorry this script and um that you can see the color has changed to color green so it's previously white and it's now green telling you that okay this command um, is now an executable um, script and once i'm done with this the next thing i'm to do is to push to my repository the question says i should put it to this repository so um i would just do that now and i'm going to do git add git add enter git commit dash m all right and let me call this the name of the file and that's task i think zero i press enter and it tells us okay done no problem then i git push so once i push this should be seen in my remote repository 100 percent so successful i fire up my repository inside the directory inside the repository software devops which i have created pre previously if you don't know how to create this you check my previous video is there already then this is directory 00 i think shell you can see i have task i think zero already pushed and this is the content so that's all for that task so uh yeah on this table i have several other commands or scripts that perform one function or that you can see this number two says this particular script um this is a script that prints the effective user name of the current user this other one number three is a script that prints all the groups the current user is part of you can see that of four five six alpha the table continues to seven says um, the script is the, is the, the, the text or the script that adds exec, that adds execute permission to the owner and the group owner and read permission to the other user. You can see number 11, same thing. This is a script that sets the mode of the file hello, the same as O L L E H. So this is like reading hello backwards in the backward mode. So I see the file still continues. See page th um, 13. This other page has page 13 to 18. 13 is also a script that creates a directory called my underscore direct dir with permission 751 in the working directory. So you can play around all these. These are um, scripts. This is scripts that change the user of the file hello to Betty only if it is owned by the user. Um, you allow me i'm just hope i pronounce that very well all right so this is a script that does that changes the user from this to betty and the name of the file is hello 
all right so that's um those, these are some commands and their function these are scripts and their function and um, thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe to this channel click on the bell notification button to be notified when a, a video you dropped on this channel like this video and share with your friends thank you